I'm going to fuck up your day, your friend's day, and your children are never going to see you again. All right. Let's get into this tier list. I think we're I think we're we're good now, right? We have we have our favorite tier list right here. I'm going to put the alerts on mute. We have our favorite scab bosses right here. I was I've been thinking about how we're going to do this. I was thinking about putting it as in F uh, sorry, S tier, it's the I'm going to fuck up your day, your friend's day, and your children are never going to see you again kind of, kind of thing. And then on S tier, it's like walk in the park. We can just like laugh at this scab boss. He's, he's that easy, right? I think, I think that's the way of doing this. You got, would you guys agree? And we'll add a little bit of like, which one's got a bit of a cool factor and stuff into that. A bit of cool factor. But in saying that, we need to make sure... We introduce these scav bosses correctly, right? We need to make sure we we introduce these scav bosses correctly. Yeah, we can include loot and and other stuff uh, as well with that. Um, we can talk about the loot that you can get from them and and how their minions work and go from there. So, who do you want to start with? Which one do you want to start with? I'll give you I'll give you guys a choice, and then I'll pick what I want to watch anyway. What do I, what do I want to do first? Sturman, perfect. There we go. All right, we'll start with Sturman. Buckle in. Um, I wish I had a quick way to turn my camera off. Nani? Well, uh, hang on a sec. Let's go close this. Cool. I'll turn that down for the next one so it's not so loud. Sturman! First one. Wood scav boss. He's, uh, oh, these videos are brought to you by Frankie, one of my editors. All right. Uh, Sturman. So the problem with Sturman is, uh, he's too easy. All right. He's probably the easiest scav boss of them all. I wanted to go with him first because, uh, it was my favorite video and I wanted to start with a bang. So, um, Sturman is, uh, got really good loot. SVDs, you get uh, ASVLs, or I think it's VSS, it's not ASVLs. SVDs, VSSs you can get. Uh, you can get um, his AK-105, can also have 739. You get this key, you can also get the Red Rebel from him. His loot is absolutely insane. However, he's uh, he's super easy to kill. If you if you know where they spawn and you sit up in the high, high grounds, you can just pop, 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 pop. Easy kills. So how exactly are we going to rate these guys? Like... Okay, if I was going to go, like, easiest, like, we would put, like, if, if like, FT would be the easiest one, he'd be, like, FT. He's, he's the easiest Gav boss, uh, and he's not scary at all. Like, I, I do not get scared by him. He has no armor on his head, so you can easily shoot him in the head. But um, his minions can get quite frustrating if you uh, get caught out. But overall, um, so, so are we going to go, like, the best as in, like, who, holy fuck, he's going to ruin our day? Loot difficulty minions. So I would say like loot difficulty and minions. But, but it, like loot, he's like I'd probably like say B tier, right? But difficulty, he's F tier. He's not hard at all. But for minions, and, and his minions down here, unless it's like difficulty is like easy is up the top. Loot to difficulty ratio. What about if okay? What about if we did this? We had three things, right? So if I if I went copy paste, copy paste, right? So we had. We had loot, his loot. So we had a loot column. We had a difficulty column being like S is like hardest and then minions. And we'll just, NA will be up here. This will be, this could be NA. All right. So for loot, I would actually say his loot's not too bad. I'd put him about a B. 
We're Puma about to be. Tell me when you've got the updated uh, updated one duties, and we can. Uh, I can. I can. I can fix that up. Ah, uh, loot. The loot for Sturman would be um, SVDs can be really handy. Just trying to think of the other ones. Oh, he, then, then Rishala. Probably Santa. There's probably got the worst, worst loot. Um, uh, Gluck has got amazing loot. Killer's loot's pretty decent. Mm. I actually think he's not too bad for loot. You can get Zook armor. I suppose the Red Rebel puts it up there. The Red Rebel does make it better. Red Rebel SVDs with seven in, uh, seven in one S and B. Um, you can get VSSs, you can get 7 and 39. His loot's actually not too bad. Plus, you get this case and the Red Rebel. He's going to a B. All right, so, um, how long do you, how long could it take for you to get the, the titles done, duties? Or maybe I can just do, like, a quick title here. How do I do text? This is going to be fun. Text. Loot. How do I finish it? How do I, how do I end that? Like, go back to, aha. Loot. So, control T. Oh, I'm learning. Difficulty. Watch out. Watch out. Pretty much. Going to be taking over this rock show. Right. So for loot, B tier. Duties will make this better. Uh, he'll make it look professional. Uh, difficulty. Difficulty. I find... So S tier is the most hardest difficulty. F tier is a walk in the park. He is by far the the easiest of all the scab bosses. By easy, by far the easiest. You can't kill Sturman, you're doing it wrong. If if you can't kill Sturman, you're doing it wrong. You can do you can clear him with a PP19. You could you could go in there with a any gun in the game and you can kill Sturman. Any gun in the game, right? The only the only thing that makes like so, and you can kill him from range where he doesn't even shoot at you. Whereas you could even toss him, hundred percent. Whereas Rashala, you have to get past his minions and cl his close quarters. You have to play. You have to get the close quarters. Depends on where you're hide hiding. There's a there's a there's a strategy that I have that is very consistently easy to kill Sturman. You you run to the back of the main warehouse bit and you you go in there and you kill the first minion inside there and Sturman will be just outside. And you'll run around in the open. You just P90 him or PP19 him. Not even hard. Or you go up on the hill and shoot him. I don't, I don't find him hard at all. I know you guys are freaking out. So, look, I'll put him at E tier, but you guys need to get good because he's seriously the easiest one. I have, him, I have him completely on farm. Completely on farm. The minions are scarier than him. I think so too because they can catch you off guard. So, speaking about minions, his minions aren't like... His minions are like... If they catch you off guard, you're dead. Same with Sturman, right? Because his SVD just does this triple tap thing where it's pap, 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 and you're dead. But... I don't think we need a, sh a swag. Do you, do you guys really want to have a swag column? I don't think it's needed. No. Nah. All right. Uh, I would put. I'd probably put his minions around the middle. I don't really find them too difficult. If you, if you, if as long as, like they, but like, okay, with the minions column, we'll talk about difficulty and loot combined, right? And how many there are and stuff. Like we already know where Gluck is going to sit for this one, for example. Risk versus reward. I think I think his minions sit somewhere in the middle because there is two of them. They use SVDs. If you, you don't like, if if they see you and you don't know where they are, you are dead. So I think that they should be feared a little bit. But as a whole, the whole scav boss is fairly easy. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. All right, all right. Which boss now? Shala, perfect, perfect. We'll go with Shala. I'll turn it down a little bit. All right. Can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. It's too, it's too easy. I can do this with my eyes closed. It's too easy. It's too, it's too easy. It's too easy. I've been there, done it, seen it. Boy, all that like Kenny. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. We all gotta hike like Tino. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. 
Outside, it's a war going on. Make me put my hands on my head like a macarena. They want you walking on board like you. And give a F to you like John Cena. Putting blood on the brand new Beamer. Trying to earn they stripes like Adidas. You get cold when you ride with the heater. It'll turn you to a dog like a Keto. And expose to a cat like a cheetah. They smoke my partner like Reef. They me lo porque o no entiendo mi gente must really need Jesus. They said real blood, I never seen a crypt and I believe. All right, that's that boy Rashala. That boy Rashala. I don't find Rashala very difficult at all. However, however. Oh shit! Fuck! What did I do? Oh, right, we're good. <laughs> oh shit! Um, but his loot is actually really good. So, um, let's talk about the loot of Rashala first. So, um. Him himself is not that good, but his minion loot is really good. So, uh, weapon attachments, you can get... Obviously, the scab bosses all have get a chance to have big coins and, and key cards and stuff. But, like, the weapon attachments, you can get Altons, you can get 6B43 armors, which sell for a shitload, right? Um, and are needed for a quest. Like, as an overall, like, loot, their actual loot's really solid. You get the Blackrock rigs for quest. Um, it's actually, I would put them up as pretty solid loot. So, um, plenty of grenades, plenty of, plenty of IFAX. It's actually, uh, it's actually, you know, pretty good. I, 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 I can't really fault him too much. He, he uses grenades better than any other boss. The grenades can be pretty brutal, particularly at our new guys. I'd probably put the loot on the same tier as German. I would, I would say. It's not, because there's nothing, there's nothing that's really that god tier though. That's, that's the only thing that's probably negative. Like, it's only B BT ammo. That's probably the biggest negatives. All right, let me let me just put this out there. Do you think his loot is better than Killers? With him and his minions, obviously. Then do you? And we all know that who's got the best loot. So I would put him at B. I, I honestly I think he sits at B. Bitcoins. You can get bitcoins from every scab boss. It's just that's low chance. Can't have a red rebel. Well, the other option is we put him at C because I actually think Sturman's loot's. Pretty solid. Oh, because Sturban has the Red Rebel, has SVD for 17M1 and SNB ammo, and it ha and he has uh, his minions have that too. 7M30, 7M39 ammo on the uh, AK105 that Sturman has. He has the key that goes to the box, which can have quest items and good money in it. I just, I can't see how Rishal is, with, as, like, yeah, he has, a, they have a lot of loot, but the 6B43 sells for a lot, and it only sells for a lot because it's rare. Um, and the rest of them are just good attachments and good and good stuff. Like it's not crazy loot. It's just not. It's just sorry. It's not like it's not bad loot. It's just a lot of mid tier loot. I guess would be the worst, best way of putting it. I don't think Rishala ever has nine nine five. I think he has usually eight five six a one. Some of these minions can have eight five five a one. Isn't the minions loot counted in that category? No, it's included as the entirety. But like. I would, I would I would talk about the the loot of the minions in in the actual minions category. He has nine nine five really. I, I swear to God, every time I loot him, he's got eight five six eight one. And that must be a new change. Like say, like I've even been killing him. I've been on had him on farm in the hardcore. You can't have nine nine three. I've I've killed Rashala like probably fifteen times in the hardcore series in the last like month, and he's never had nine nine five. Okay, I, I believe that you guys. Uh, I, I believe you. Oh, the MDR. Uh, yeah, the MDR. That makes sense now. I, when you thought, because you guys are saying nine and three, and I'm like, really? All right. I'm still putting him at C. I, you, you don't at me. I, I'm still putting him at C. Uh, his difficulty, him and his minions difficulty is actually quite low. But it, I think, I, I think he's harder than Sturman. Only because if you get caught out, isn't really even, like, not even when you get caught out. Sometimes they can overwhelm. Particularly, like, uh, at New Gas, the grenades can come in fucking like an airstrike. Like, you could, it feels like you're getting, like, fast air on you. New Gas with the grenades is really brutal. Same, same with, uh, around, I call it Skeletor. I think some people call it Stronghold. Um, the grenades can be really, really brutal. And um, I don't want to include players in it, but I feel like... I get third party a lot more fighting Rashala than I would Sturman. Even though Sturman's in the open more, you can get in and out of killing Sturman a lot faster than trying to get in and out with 
with uh, Rishala. Like, you might kill Rishala and all his minions, and then you're like, as you're trying to, like, just trying to do anything, you'll have, like, another squad rock up on you. So, look, I'm going to put Rishala at D difficulty. It's because as soon as, the one thing they hear, as soon as they hear the airstrike nades at New Gas or Stronghold, everyone knows Rishala's there. And then it's like, they flock. They just like, like a, like, I don't know, like a magnet <laughs> drawn into there. Now, as for Rishala's minions, I don't think they're actually that difficult at all. They're not that difficult. The loot's actually not bad, but um, I think Sherman's minions are harder. Only because, like, they can catch you out. Like, they can be hiding in, in in spots and stuff. Whereas, like, Rishala's minions are always clumped up together. And you kind of just, just keep peeking and killing them. Once you know they're there, I feel like the loot of the minions really should stay with this loot here. Rishala's minions are predictable. They are. Rishala never kills you, though. Rishala himself never kills you. Actually, Rishala can kill you. If he gets his full auto burst on you, you're fucking dead. You need better ammo to kill Rochelle's minions. The problem with Rochelle's minions is they nearly always have BT ammo, which if you have decent armor, you can tank them. You can legitimately just fucking stand there and tank them. I've seen clips of people just standing there going... So I would put, I'm putting Rochelle, uh his minions at D tier. I don't really find them th that bad at all. The minion loot, I'm going to include in this loot category because they kind of do need to go together. Sturman's minion... Like, this is more minion difficulty. Maybe I'll make it minions... Minion difficulty... All right. Whereas this is. It's overall got two L's. It looks like it does. Overall. And in the next. All right. All right. Tour, as Nikita kept calling him. I feel like loot's the worst one to start with, but um, I, I think Sanus has got the worst loot out of all of them, to be honest. Besides his fucking key. Okay, so let's talk about his minions. Defender armors. You can get Eagle Nick, 1739 ammo from his from AKS 74 UBs. You sometimes get like a VSS or a, a AS Val. That's the VSS with a Val name. Like that's not really worth a lot. I honestly think he's the loot is is the worst. Yeah, you can get the, you can get the key with uh, the key card from the labs, or you can get the uh, key with tape, tape key, whatever it's called. But they're not worth that much after the start of the wipe. Like one week into the wipe, they're worth like god tier, and then after that, pfft, trash. The medical shit's not that good. It, you know what would be cool? You know what would be actually cool if you had a med case, a small chance for a med case. I'm not talking like like fifty percent. I'm talking like fifteen percent. Like a 15% chance that he spawns with a med case or a Ledex. Like a 5% chance of a Ledex. You know, that would be cool. Just to make it so his loot is actually like, like, so you want to farm him. You know, like you want to go out and actively seek him. Because I see Sanitar, right? And you know what I think? Not worth it. Every time. I'm like, nah, not worth it. Skip. Going the other direction. Not worth it. Every single time. A waste of ammo. <laughs> oh, I probably wouldn't be that far. But like, in all seriousness, like, I, I, I don't think the risk is worth the reward every single time. So yeah, I think loot is F tier. Anyone, anyone want to disagree with that one? I, I just, they don't, it's not like you, if you, if you killed him, you'd use some of the loot. But like, E for the key, I, I, the key's not worth much after like, literally after like two weeks into the wipe, the key goes, the plummets in value. Once the people start getting the key consistently, it really does plummet in value. And then he has nothing of value on him. Like he has a 200k lab key too. It's not that, like that's not that good though. 
Like, it's not... Yeah. I don't know. As for difficulty, as for difficulty, he's a little bit bullshit. I'm not going to lie. He's a little bit bullshit. I'm actually thinking about putting him either... I'm actually thinking about putting him B tier. Because, like, I, I don't know if you guys saw the other day. I was standing, like, I'm not even lying, like, 100 plus meters away. And he was trying to fucking beam me with an ASVAL or a VSS, whichever it was. You could just, you could hear the bullets peppering. Like it was, and it's like, it's actually, it's actually a little bit bullshit. B for bullshit. Um, they see you so, from so far away. And then same with the, AS, uh, the uh, AKS-74UB minions with their 1739 Eagle Nicks. They're just like peppering you from ages away and you don't even know where the fuck he is. Like, you know, he's near the cottage, but, like, they're sitting in bushes near the cottage and stuff. On the pier, I actually find him easier, pay as ink. He could also run, like, a million miles per hour. <laughs> it's true. He can run fast. I would almost put him at A tier, but I just don't think... I think once you can get a clean clean view of him, he drops really quick. And same with his minions. I don't really find them... The, once you can get close enough with a clean view... It's, it's easy from that point. It's just the fact that they activate on you from everywhere, from ages away, and they just drop you all the time. Like, that's the problem. He's way too difficult with shit loot to be worth. Yeah. Minions are A tier. I don't... Oh, I, I Honestly, I put the minions exactly the same. I, I, I think whatever whatever he is, he's... Like, the minions are actually probably, if anything, slightly more difficult for the fact that they've got armor. I think it's B for bullshit tier. It's, it's, I'd probably put him, I'd probably put him around here. The, the, the thing is, it's the activate just, just as much as Sanitor does from, from range and that. I think they're both B. I think they're both sitting around here. A for them hiding in cottages. All right, let's put him A. Let's put him A. Uh, it's pretty common consensus. I don't know. You, A for cottages, B otherwise probably. True. Pier, pier and resort, it, they're a lot easier. I keep, cause I keep fucking dying to them at cottages. So that's what I keep thinking about. But if you do see them at resort, I don't really find them as difficult. So the B because of resort and pier. Can you put an asterisk on it? Sure. Duties put an asterisk saying A if go asterisk and then write in very small font under here. A tier if cottages, B tier if resort <laughs> or pier. <clears throat> All right. We happy with that? So next up we have, uh, let's do Glucker. Let's do Glucker. 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 He's a, he's a, he's a very, very, um, how do I word it? I know everyone will have a, um, everyone will have a different experience with Glucker, but for me personally, I kind of find that he's actually, um, not too bad. I know a lot of people really struggle to kill him, but for me, Glucker and I seem to have a really good relationship with me being able to mellow him in the head. Let's start off with loot. Ash 12, M1A, M4s with lots of 60 round mags and ammo. Um, you, like the overall loot is including the minions, right? So you get mass amounts of loot um, and it's usually pretty good ammo. Uh, lots of variations of uh, guns, mods. I actually think the loot is probably, I'm trying to think. I don't know if it's the best loot, but I think it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. Would you say his loot's better than Killer's loot? Yeah. 
There is a lot of stuff you can get from him. Can his minions have class six armor? I'm trying to think. I don't think I've seen it, but maybe maybe you guys will know more than me. So you've seen him with hex grids. I've never seen him with 6B43s. Oh, that, yeah, you can get Zooks. I know that. I've seen that. I know you can get Zooks. All right. I'll, I would say if you can get class six armors off his minions, there's you get so many six round uh, M4 mags. Nearly every time I get at least four six round mags. Um, the, the Vulcan helmet isn't really that good like to use, but it's vendors for a lot. It vendors for a lot. Um, and those six round mags right now have probably gone up a lot in value too. Um, I think, yeah, I think for value from loot, I'm just trying to think, would you get more than killer's loot? So say killer had, uh, 739 Eagle Nix, um, and you got like 200 rounds, probably selling for a hundred, uh, for a K around. So look, 200 K there, arm is probably worth about 300. So it's about 500 K gun, 80 K. Plus mag, so you go 110, so it's 5, 550. If you get a lab's key card, but that's the same with any scav boss. So let's not include that one into it. I think you get better loot than killer overall. Yep. Because, yeah, killer would... I think killer would be worth about 700k. I think Glucker with his minions combined, you would easily make a million. Particularly with the 60-round mags at the prices that they're at right now. Because the 60-round mags have... what well, you can get four 60-round... You can get more than four. But you can kill killer in 12 seconds. It doesn't matter. Oh, you can loot killer in 12 seconds? Doesn't matter. We're talking about the actual value of the loot here. Plus, plus, I know I play a lot of solo, but think of it like this. If you go in as a, as a two-man or a three-man and you kill killer, one person gets loot. If you go in, a, if you go in as a two-man or three-man and kill Glucker and his minions, you're all making money. So I know I'm very solo-focused. I know I'm very solo-focused, but um, we should really take that into account. Like, if you go into the squad, you can actually all make a lot of money from Glucker, whereas if you go into the squad, not really everyone can make money from K Killer. Like, you, you could split up the helmet, the gun, and, and ammo, and the armor. Like, go, you know, helmet goes to one person, armor goes to one person, and then gun and ammo goes to the other person. But Glucker can... Glucker's got, like, a... You can make tons if they have PKO6s as well. Very good, very good uh, point there, too. Gluha, not Glucker. Mate, are you the streamer? Are you the stream? No, you're not. I'm the streamer. I'm the person making the video. I, I call him whatever the fuck I want. G U L G L U Gluck. G U G L U Ka. His name's Gulka. Right, fuck, fuck, we'll call him Gulka from now on. All right, Gulka um, is uh, S tier for loot. And then uh, for difficulty, I know you guys won't agree with me because I honestly, for me, difficulty is like here. But I know a lot of people struggle with with. Uh, Gulka. So I'm putting him here. I honestly don't. Like, I think if you've got big mags and you're inside a building and you could just let him wave in at you, he's fucking easy. I'm sorry, guys. He is really easy. But I know a lot of you guys struggle on him. Uh, I, I really do feel like it comes down to ammunition on this one. I'd actually, I'd say um, if you get caught out in the open or you're not ready for it or on a staircase, if you fight these guys on a staircase, you're going to die. Um, but if you just avoid those shitty situations, like you make sure you're fighting on the same level as them, as in like, you know, they're not on a staircase or up and above, um, or, you know, you're not fighting out in the open, you let them push towards you. I think it's a lot. they're a lot easier than than, uh, than that. So personally for me, I would put him in, down, down at like a C tier, but I know a lot of people struggle with him. So... I do think he is harder than Senator if Senator's not at the cottages. Senator at the cottages is like here, and same with his minions. But um, but when it, he's at the resort and pier, he's down here. All right, I'm afraid the staircases are right. Particularly, does S tier mean they're the easiest to fight or hardest? Hardest. It takes so much ammo to kill them all. True. Clucker Underground is also a pain in the ass. Only if. You get caught out the open. If you get them to wave in towards you slowly, bit by bit, easy. All right, so Gulkart, we'll put him as um, an A. Minion difficulty. <sighs> Look, I think this one's pretty much the same. Would you Would you agree? I think I, I actually do think he has the hardest minions. So we could put the minions difficulty up here. You say the minions are harder than him. Yeah, the Ash 12 on him can be quite quite annoying. 
Because he can he can really hurt you with the Ash 12 the M1A, but there are a lot of them. There there is six of them. There's always a minion that forget about that blaps you. I would agree with that. There's always a, there's always like, oh, I think I've got them all. And you're like, nope, got one more. If if his minions are S tier, I think Sherman should be B tier. No, because they're Sturman's minions are fairly predictable, to be honest. I, I can generally find Sturman's minions pretty pretty easily. And once you do find them, they're pretty easy. The the only reason Sturman's minions are C tier is because if they're hiding well and they catch you off guard, you insta die. There is that they are pretty much insta kill on you. Whereas like they, but they are fairly predictable. Sturman pretty much doesn't wear armor, so you can just SMG him. He just drops he drops really easily. His minions sometimes wear decent armor, so you might have to actually shoot him in the head. Why are there no cultists? Well, we decided to make this before, like, really thinking about cultists that much. But to be honest, um, I don't know. We could add cultists to it. I I don't really have any footage for cultists, though. So we only have the, the videos for, for the scab bosses. So for cultists, I'll, I'll do cultists at the end on what I would put them. All right? And then maybe we'll add it to a list. Uh, I'll do it at the end of this stream for the uh, announcing of who's in Punisher 3. How is Sturman easy? He doesn't wear armor. You can SMG him. He doesn't even shoot at you sometimes. All right. Kill the time. Killer and I have a really, really, really brutal relationship. All right. Killer and I do not get along at all. <sighs> at all. So he absolutely owns me so often with his power slide. He is he is my you know, you know when you play Pokemon and you start and you're named like, I don't know, blue and the other guy's named red? He's my red. You know what I mean? And he just, he's just, he's always there to dick on me. <laughs> he's your Gary. Yup, he's my Gary. Overall loot. I kind of know where he's going to be sitting. So overall loot, eight. Now, you can, you can kill him, take the loot and get out very quickly. So we've got to put that into account. Um, he's got a class five armor that repairs extremely well. Extremely well. If you get him with um, the RPK, you're going to get generally... Uh, 85 plus 360, so 180. So it's about 270 rounds of 1739, which sells for about 1,000 rubles each. So it's about 270k worth of ammo alone. His helmet vendors for 160k. So you get 160k for the helmet. You get, you can vendor, or not vendor, you can sell his armor if you don't damage it on the flea market for about 300k, 250 to 300k. And then, um, obviously vented the helmet so you can make like a good solid like 700 to 900k from him and then obviously a key cut on top <clears throat> so value wise yeah my camera's having a fit i think i th i don't know if it's my computer's everything's overheating at the moment i'm gonna work on it <clears throat> it's all right we're all right we're good we're good so as for um as for killer his loot is actually really good the only downside to to the loot is if he has the pp19 or the AK, I want to say AKMN, but it's not. It's like, maybe it's AKMSN. I can't remember. He has an AK. AKMS, that's it. AKMS. Um, then he uses like shitty ammo. And then you lose a lot of money from ammo. Yeah, T45M. So, 
that's where the downside of Killer is with it comes to ammo, but you still get the value from his helmet, his armor, and potentially like he might have uh the key card and the and the Bitcoin. So I think I think A is a good spot for his his loot. For difficulty, he is the hardest scab boss. He is by far the hardest scab boss. If he sees you before you see him, you're dead. If you don't insta kill him in the head, you're dead. If you don't um like since they took away the ability to leg meta him, I don't care what you say. If you if you do not get a chance to shoot at him first, you are dead. I can constantly kill him with a shrimp or five seven. Bullshit. If he power slides on you, GG. He's always in the same spot. It doesn't matter. If you stuff the if you stuff the start of the kill on him, it's a GG. Every time. You cannot say that any of the other scab bosses are harder than him. Like the actual individual scab bosses. Is this why you always use the SVD? No, I don't use the SVD often. Why would you show a video of him missing while you stand there, not moving, then say he's the hardest? Because I told the guys to help me make that video to put it on easy difficulty and just get footage of him. If you put it, if you put him on online difficulty when I was filming that video, he just insta-kills you. Otherwise, the footage would have just been death, 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 death. I wanted to actually show you the scab boss. What's different so you can't leg him? If you full auto in the leg him now, he uh, you'd have to do it quick. You have to do it really quick. Otherwise, he'll just ignore it. Because he used to, he used to stun lock. He used to just stand there and just do this weird like wiggle thing. The other argument is also if you're not using high pen ammo, it's very difficult to kill killer. Now that they've removed the ability to leg meta him. I know you guys are out there going like, oh, I kill him all the time. But you fucking die to him all the time too. He's the most armored scab boss. Yep. He has 890 health. Put put all the bosses in a room. Killer is walking out. Yep. And then lastly for uh, minions. He doesn't have minions. So we'll just put that down here. Why is that not? There we go. He doesn't have any minions. So there's no point. His minions are third parties trying to kill him. Other PMCs. Four killer runners per lobby are his minions. Yeah, pretty much. And I, yeah. I'm sure there's like a lot of you guys out there at the moment like, oh, I kill killer all the time. But the thing is, it's like you're going in there specifically to kill him with like the ammo to kill him. And like you're just charging there to get the 100 kills. Like if you weren't, if you weren't going in specifically for that reason or like going in with the M61s to kill players and killer, you would be in the hurt locker. Like if you're playing the game and you're leveling up and you're questing and doing all your shit like normally, killer would ruin your day 99% of the time. Not 99, probably like 80 to 90% of the time. I want, I want, I, per, I actually do want Killer to have minions. I want Killer, every time he spawns, I want there to be 10 scavs around the middle of the mall. I, I want him to be surrounded. So anyone can, like trying to kill him has to at least kill minions on the way. Because the biggest issue with Killer is people go naked with an, uh, with a Vepa Hunter with 10 rounds of M61. That's all they do. And they literally can run all the way up to him. Don't have to worry about any other scavs. And then they get to fight Killer with just a, Vepo with an M61. But if there was just like five scavs around him with shotguns, nakeds can't just run up to him to try and kill him. And it, it just makes it so people actually have to fight properly to get the killer. He, need, he needs scavs around him just to stop nakeds with M61s. Because that, that's, the, that's the reason why you guys are saying he's not that difficult now, is the fact that you guys aren't, af uh, aren't afraid of... Um, you guys aren't afraid of... Uh, what do you call it? Afraid of dying to him because you don't lose anything. Does the tracks give you eight pockets? It doesn't. Don't forget coldest. Well, coldest aren't technically scab bosses, but there is there is like the scav boss within the coldest. Um, I would if if I was to include scav bosses, uh, sorry the uh, the coldest in this in this list, which we don't have footage for and we don't have um we don't have like uh an image for. I would probably put coldest loot as probably a tier. I'm trying to think. It's, uh, probably A, somewhere between A and S here. It's actually really good loot. Difficulty, um, you can B tier for his loot, for their loot. They have they have really good uh they have really good loot, guys. Extra great ammo, nice weapons. Yeah. I think I think they're about an A tier for uh, for loot. Difficulty with a thermal F without a thermal, probably like a B to an A. You just gotta be like really slow and methodical trying to kill them. Like, you know how many they're going to be at max. There's going to be like seven max. And you can kind of slowly clear through it. If you just charge in there. Uh, or sorry, that's minions, really. Um, to be honest, the minions and that would probably be sitting around the B tier. Because you can take your time. You don't have to rush there. Um, somewhere between C and B. If you're an idiot and you just run straight into the middle of them, you're probably going to die. 
but like that's like running to the front of fucking killer like you just you, you got to play it smart um but with the thermal they're like really shit thermal and a long range sight have around the coldest a lot not um not without hunting them if i'm hunting them i've found them a fair bit but in general that i haven't run into them. how common are they 20 percent spawn rate between 11 p.m and 5 a.m on customs woods and uh shoreline and they've got specific areas that they spawn coldest do spawn in offline raids at least they used to. I know a few people made a heap of footage about them. Yeah, they spawn near the stronghold in customs, or I call it um, Skeletor. Do you think after doing the tier list that the difficulty of some bosses is disproportionate to the loot they give? Sanitar, yes. Um, I'd probably say Sturman could be more difficult, but you don't want him. You don't want Sturman like locking onto you from like ages away. So Sturman's loot is really good compared to how easy he is and his minions. But like if you don't you don't want him to be more difficult because it would ruin woods. Like it would actually make woods trash. Because the second you if imagine if you were just in line of sight of Sturman and he just locks onto you. You'd be dead every time. So um Yeah, actually that would be the way of doing it. Give him a new spawn location. Give him the sunken village as well, and that would probably make it better. Because then there's a bit more risk involved. He could be in two spots. Whereas Sanator, his loot. I You could put the loot up to E tier, but yeah. This is the final thing, duties. It's a little message from duties too. Right. I suppose that's it for the tier list. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, please do like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. It really does go a long way in helping the discoverability of the videos. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about the video, uh, the, uh, the the tiers where you would put stuff. Uh, I'll make sure I read as many as I can, which at the moment I don't have much time, so I probably won't read many, but I'll do some. I'll, I'll, like, I'll, I'll give like the big heart-like thing to like, I don't know, a couple of them. The ones I actually agree with or disagree with. All valid points. Um, besides that, uh, yeah. Um, subscribe notification bell. I do these every week for a bit of fun, a bit of banter with the, with the people. And lastly, I'll see you next time.